What's going on, Metamatics? It is Metamat here, and in today's video, I'll be talking about the possibility of a bunch of crypto influencers and traders being exposed. <laughs> So at a dying nobody on Twitter who has 42.7 thousand followers made a whole bunch of tweets, it was actually a thread, and it started out by saying, I want to come clean. So long story short, this user was able to get access to a Telegram group that had a bunch of big crypto influences involved. Unbeknownst to the crypto traders, this user was able to see every DM, message, voice chat that all the traders in this group were in. He even downloaded a script or a bot that was able to get all this information for him. At first, this member did not care, but then they realized that there was a lot of injustice going on. See, like I said, this group had a bunch of big crypto influencers involved that, according to this user, either were or are currently involved in a bunch of scams and rug pulls. And apparently, some of these traders are people you would not expect to be doing this. People that you would just dismiss the thought of them committing scams in the first place. He saw people pretending to be who they weren't. People who pretended to have a bunch of money on video in their influencing actually did not. People who claimed to have all these big victories and all these big wins in the crypto and NFT space actually did not as well, and they were all fake. Now, whether or not a dying nobody was actually able to hack this Telegram group, and all this is true, the fact of the matter is, there are a lot of gurus out there who actually don't know what they're talking about because they just got lucky off of one trade, and they think that now because they have hundreds of thousands of dollars, they know everything there is to know about crypto and NFTs. So apparently this user is actually dying from an illness, which is why they are okay putting all these people on blast and has no monetary reasons to do this. What would you do if you found out that your favorite influencer was actually doing rug pulls and scams in the background? So on June 15th, he's going to be publishing excerpts from crypto influencers ranging from as little as 800 followers to as much as 1 million followers. June 30th, he'll be releasing information from creators of projects. And then July 7th is when everything will be released. And apparently there's some stuff that, uh, can't really talk about here on YouTube. But I guess anyone is capable of, of anything if this is all true. That is the thing. So apparently a lot of people are saying that this person is going to be releasing these documents in downloadable form and that these downloads are going to be malicious software and that this user is just trying to find a way to hack a whole bunch of people at once. So if this information requires a wallet connection or anything sketchy, just don't do it. Let somebody else do it. Go on Twitter and you know, let, let them be the guinea pig. Be as careful as possible when it comes to your security in the crypto and NFT space. So I'd love to see what you guys think. I personally am going to take this with a grain of salt. I'm not going to be clicking any links or downloading anything. I'll be letting other people do that, like I said before. But uh, yeah, if this is true, I mean, that, this could be huge. Honestly, a lot of people who are in the crypto and empty space might be taken down a peg. And, you know, there might be a lot of people who did rug pulls who are exposed. And quite frankly, I love that because what I do is literally try to guide people in the NFT journey. And the people who are doing the rug pulls, people who are committing all this fraud, they're making it harder for me because I'm trying to teach you the importance of the blockchain technology, not just the PFPs and monkeys and animals like that. And all these rug pulls and scams definitely put a sour taste in a lot of new traders' mouths. So let me know what you think in the comments. I will be covering this in full as the information is released, so be sure to subscribe as well. I hope to see you then, but until next time, I hope that you all make some bread.